This is Artifacts of Mars, and we're going to do something a little different today. Kind of a quickie, and I can go into a lot of details. I've seen, uh, heard a speculation that House of Prayer and Second Life, God's House of Prayer and Second Life is a cult. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But, I looked up the definition of cult, and be honest with you, they don't fit it. But there's some things that have been going on. I've tried to communicate with them, try to talk some sense into them about the way they're treating people. It's not going to happen. So then I wrote them an email. And I found their uh, website and tried to drop them an email. And the email gets bounced immediately. So the email addresses on their website are bogus. I try, I'm not going to try it, uh, emailing Reverend Brett. I tried emailing a staff and tried emailing a webmaster. Both emails got bounced immediately. It may interest you to know that on Second Life, They've banned any ability to communicate using the chat groups that they ask you to join when you go there. It's like uh, the House of Prayer one, then you have Heather's Welcome Center. And both of those groups have been set so you can't start a conversation. So there's no way to communicate. Which is one thing that a cult does do is it limits as much as possible the ability of one member to communicate with another. So that could be an indication then of that it is a type of a cult. Possibly. And they've gotten exceedingly restrictive. I complained about this. Now, let me back up. But basically, they want you to use a human avatar only. And for me, I'm a role player. I role play as a tusk boar named Herbert on Wild West Sims. And they won't let me wear that avatar there anymore. Last time I was there, I was told by Reverend Brett to change it. So they're extremely obsessive. They want you to change, they want you to wear a human avatar only. Now, this is not real life. This is, Second Life is actually a, I think it's called an MMR or something. It's a multiplayer role playing thing. So, I don't know why. And as House of Prayer is not a role playing place, per se. So I don't know why they would have a problem with a critter avatar, for instance. I just don't have to want to change it just to go visiting there. If I have to change my avatar every time I go visiting there, I'm not going to visit there. And that's another thing. But it gets worse. One day, the Reverend Brett, I was, I was just asking, it's kind of complex, I was asking the, uh, person, I was asking some, uh, group that I wasn't familiar with that said that, you know, come on down. I said, well, gee, I'm, uh, going to be going to an RP meeting for, short time, in a short time, and so I have to be in my avatar, is it alright if I stay in the avatar rather than having to change right back into it, because it's kind of a pain in the neck. Anybody who's familiar with Second Life knows how stubborn it can be, and it takes some effort to change back into the RP avatar, so most of the time I would prefer just stay in it. Well, when you know the pastor emailed me and said, well, you don't ask me. 
And he bitched me out like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, I was minding my own business, and he wasn't. He was minding my business, which is a violation of Second Life rules. So I was not happy about that. That didn't happen all that long ago. And then on Saturday I show up, I'm there for maybe two minutes, I'm looking for a weekly meeting that I go to. I guess I'm not going to be going to it anymore. If I'm going to be told that I have to be in human form every time I go to it. Especially if I'm, you know, in the boar avatar and it's just a pain. Anyways, they're looking for a meeting, they've been having it in another place, and... Long story short, they showed up and within two minutes, the Reverend was on my case about my avatar demanding that I change it to something else. I left. I didn't change it. So, it's gotten to the point, House of Prayer, there's nothing you really... There's no way to enjoy the place anymore because there's so many rules and regulations. It's like a it's like a little uh, military camp or something. So you could make a case that there is a cult aspect to it. It doesn't fit the general category of cult, but you can make the case. What does this mean for second lifers? Well, if you're looking for a religious place, it's up to you. If you want to put up with all these rule re rules restrictions and mean having your vi uh, avatar dictated to you, you can. Well, personally, I'm gonna wait until this whole bunch that is running it is out of there, and then maybe I'll go back. But it has gotten cult-like to an extent. Doesn't fit the general definition, like I said, but it's getting close. The one thing that I thought, uh, about saying life is, okay, if it's a cult, you can hit the back arrow and you're out of there, or close out your browser window, or whatever. In a real call, real life call, you don't have that ch option. And they can't take your property. But they can make your life miserable when you're on the sim, which is essentially what they're doing. And I can tell you, when I was there, I witnessed this. When this whole bunch that's in there now showed up, here's a little secret. I know they were griefing the sim, it was a, you know, it was a false flag. One of their members was griefing the sim, and the reason I know this is I caught one of the griefing things and found out who owned it. No one would talk to me about that. Gee, I wonder why. So I, I actually think they do some of their own griefing. I'm not going to ha hang around there to try to prove it. I got better things to do. But, just to let you know, Health prayer is kind of a very problematic place, to be honest. You might want to think about just avoiding it. It's up to you, and if you're not afraid of it being possibly a cult, a cult that you can leave when you close out your uh, viewer window, then you'll be fine. Uh, just remember, something's gone horribly wrong with the place, and it didn't used to be like this. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for listening.